Hello and welcome back to the Master Civil Engineering. In this video, we will learn how to calculate the shear parameters from the direct shear test results. The question is given and it states that a series of undrained shear box tests having cross-sectional area 360 mm square we are carried out on a soil with the following results. Determine the cohesion, determine the angle of friction and if a 30 mm diameter and 70 mm long sample of the same soil was tested in a triaxial machine with a cell pressure of 270 kilopascal, what would be the additional axial load at failure? So cross-sectional area of specimen is given as 360 mm square or you can say 0 0.00036 meter square. Normal stress is given as normal load divided by cross-sectional area and shear stress is given as shear load divided by cross-sectional area. So first we will change the normal load and the shear load into normal stress and shear stress. So 90 Newton of normal load becomes 250 kilopascal of normal stress by dividing the normal load that is 90 into 10 raised power minus 3 by cross-sectional area which is 0 0.0036 so it becomes 250 kilopascal. 180 Newton of normal load becomes 500 kilopascal normal stress and 270 Newton of normal load becomes 750 kilopascal of normal stress. Similarly shear load can be also converted into shear stress by dividing the shear load with the cross-sectional area so 74.76 Newton of shear load becomes 207.67 kilopascal of shear stress 104.53 becomes 390.36 kilopascal and 134.29 becomes 373.03 kilopascal of shear stress now that we have the values of normal stress and shear stress we can plot a graph between normal stress and shear stress with normal stress values on the x-axis and shear stress values on the y-axis in Excel to get the value of shear parameters. So let us plot the graph between normal stress and shear stress in Excel. Now we are in Excel and we can see the normal stress shown on this column and shear stress values shown on this right column. So first step is to select the values then click on insert then go to the graph and click on scatter graph option so you will get a graph between the normal stress and the shear stress change the size of the graph delete this uh, chart title then click on this plus button add axis title and the trend line for horizontal axis we can write normal stress and for vertical axis we can write the shear stress okay now to get the equation of the trend line so that we can obtain the values of shear parameters we, we will double click on this trend line equation and we will click on this display equation on chat so we will get the equation of the trend line so with this equation we can determine the values of the shear parameters so our trend line equation is y is equal to 0 0.3307x plus 124.99 so now we have plotted the graph between normal stress and shear stress in Excel and we got the equation of trend line equal to y is equal to 0 0.3307x plus 124.99. So cohesion C is simply equal to the intercept of the failure envelope which is 124.99 kilopascal which is equal to 125 kilopascal. And angle of friction phi is equal to slope of failure envelope which is equal to tan of inverse 0 0.3307 which is equal to 18.3 degrees so this is how we can calculate the values of shear parameters from the equation of trend line after plotting a graph between the normal stress and the shear stress for 
part C confining stress sigma 3 is given as 270 kilopascal deviator stress sigma D we have to find major principal stress is equal to sigma 1 which is equal to sigma 3 plus sigma D which is equal to 270 plus sigma D from Mohor Coulomb failure criterion sigma 1 is equal to sigma 3 tan square 45 plus 5 by 2 plus 2 C tan of 45 plus 5 by 2 putting values of sigma 1 sigma 3 phi and C and solving for sigma D we get the value of sigma D equal to 593.2 kilopascal since we have to calculate the actual load which will cause the failure of the specimen in try actual testing machine so actual load will be simply equal to deviator stress multiplied by the cross-sectional area of the specimen which is equal to 593.2 into pi into 0 0.03 square divided by 4 which is equal to 0 0.41931 kilonewton or you can say 419.31 newtons so this is the procedure that how to calculate the value of shear parameters from the direct shear test results and use these values of shear parameters to find the failure load in triaxial testing machine. I hope you guys learned something from this video. And if you find this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel and share this video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.